hey guys happy new year and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is esther and i do sewing fashion and diy videos and this is my first project in 2021 it's this mini ruched or drawstring skirt with frill at the hem so if you want to learn how to make this skirt then let's get right into today's video So these are my basic skirt patterns the front and the back so here is the front and i traced it on fold so what i'm going to do right now is to put in the line or indicate the place where i want to put the drawstring so i measured my apex to apex point which is eight inches divided by two so from the center front i would mark it so that is what i'm doing so once you put in the measurement connect them to form a straight line so like i already said i cut the skirt on fold because of the seam at the side so this is the center front and this is the line for the seam over there i'm going to cut through it and add allowance only one side don't cut it through the other side only one side so you can decide to put it on the left or the right side depending on what you want so this is how it's looking right now and we have to add seam allowances to those places so that is what we'll be using as a channel to insert our strings so this is the fabric i'll be using it's called the creep satin and go ahead and lay your patterns on your fabric and cut cut one each for every pattern except the back piece which you'll be cutting to and remember to notch your dots go ahead and cut all your pieces and when you're done we move to the sewing machine we'll stitch the dots and also stitch the back i mean the zip extension and for the front we sew the seam over there the front seam So once you're done, go ahead and iron your seams flat to give it a nice and professional look. And then when you're done with that, use your skirt patterns to trace out your facing for the skirt. So what I'm doing is just tracing it out and then um, mark a length of 4 inches for the facing. You can make it even shorter once you're done cut it out and then divide it into two that will be for the back facing and then for the front do the same trace it out four inches of four inches length and that will be it but for the front you don't cut the center front because the center front is on fold like that what I'm going to do next is to stitch the channel for the strings. So go ahead to the machine and that is what I'm doing right now. I'm making a channel of about um quarter of an inch and that is how it looks and I went ahead and right now I'm making the loops. Is it loops no straps or just <laughs> I don't know what to call it but yeah this is what i'm doing to be able to create the ruching at the front area so go ahead and also stitch the side seams of the skirt and once that is done i'm going to fix the zip and i'm changing my zipper uh, my foot to the zipper foot 
so that is what i'm doing you can use the normal food but for me i prefer to use the zipper food because it's much easier so if you don't have the zipper food don't stress yourself you can use the normal food to fix the zip so what i'm going to do now is to join the side seam of the of the facing for the skirt so join the side seam And once that is done, use the zigzag stitch to finish the raw edges except for the waistline because we'll be joining the waistline of the of the of the facing to the to the main skirt. So what I'm going to do now is to measure the hem of the skirt to determine the the length or the size so that I'll be I'll be able to cut the frill for it so I'm cutting the frill right now you can cut it like you're cutting the circular skirt but I already cut something round from the edge so that is why I already have the round thing there so this is my frill and the size of or the length of my hem was 37 inches so that is how much or how long my frill is my frill is 38 inches that is plus allowance so once that is done pin it to the hem remove your pins whilst whilst you're sewing so that you don't break your needle because it's really annoying if you have to change your needles in the process of sewing so once that once that is done we have to attach the straps and there is no opening at the bottom of the channel so i'm going to use my seam ripper to make to create a hole there and then after that i'm going to use a thread and a needle to finish the raw edges like a button buttonhole stitch over there once that is done, I would use the loop turner to insert my loops. You can use a safety pin or bobby pin. I sometimes use that depending on my mood. So yeah, so do that. Make sure that you don't pull the loop all all the way down you have to leave a little bit or you have to align it to the waist of the skirt make sure it doesn't get lost so like that make sure you align it and then what you're going to do next is to attach the facing to the skirt so align the waist pin it and stitch it When you're done doing that make an under stitch so turn the the facing with the allowance to the other side and then stitch on top of the facing very close to the end like that and then flip the facing on top of the zipper so right side facing and stitch close to the zipper not on top of the of the um, teeth of the zip but very close to the seam so that is how it's looking now and then turn in turn it out like that and your facing is finished over there so our skirt is basically done and iron the waist of the skirt so that the facing board or that area would be flat so that is how it's looking now and then when you pull the loops or the strings you get that kind of ruching effect over there so i guess this kit was pretty simple and everyone can sew it for beginners and everybody can make this kit i believe so let's see how it looks on